Hi, I'm David Loftus. Jamie and I have set a series of Instagram challenges in the run up to Christmas. And today's challenge is capture your Christmas tree in all its glory. It could be a top shot, could be a close up, could be far away. Try and do something a little different, but we're looking forward to seeing the results. So I'm currently sitting here lit by this amber sand, which has got some quite harsh lights in it. They're quite hot, yellows, blues, greens. And it, the thing is, a lot of people think of me as a daylight photographer, but I'm not really, I'm more of an available light photographer. So often you, you have no choice. I might be shooting a monk in a monastery or where I, he's only lit by a candle, or there's a tiny little shaft of light, but it might be a light from a bulb. It might be, you know, it might be some fairy lights, but you can use those things to create atmosphere. And I don't like adding light. I will use the lights that are available. My friend Ed came up with this, which is like a fake ring light. Uh, which we put in, and you can see these in people's, it creates a lovely little halo around the pupil of the eye. We would literally photograph like this, using it, but it creates a really soft little halo in the pupil. And what we used to do when we were um, sort of thinking about being photographers was we would look through books and magazines and you can tell how people are photographed by what's in their eyes, how they're lit, um, and before, certainly before Photoshop, you used to be able to see the flash guns or the, or, or the ring flashes, or you could always see the details in their eyes or whether it was daylight. And it's a really sort of handy tip on trying to work out how a photographer lights a picture. Anyway, we just use the available light and it's about not being frightened. What you do is you basically point your camera at the face, expose for the face, and then just allow the other lights to blend around and just let them flare, let them, you know, do interesting things in your camera. You know, there's always, don't point your camera at the light or the sun, but actually use those lights to create an atmosphere and flare. And if you expose for that face, then that will all cope around and you don't worry about that, but the face will come out sharp and exposed. Really looking forward to seeing your pictures. So post them with the hashtag Jamie's Loftmas on Instagram. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was useful and I'll see you next time. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like, but most of all to subscribe. Thank you.